Hey fellow wanderers, today's video is all about the best Jeju food to try. I'll be showing you the different types of food, the most positively reviewed restaurants, and how much the food is going to cost. So keep watching. We are starting with some street food, and the best place to get some is Dongmun Market. Been around for 77 years, it's known for its cheap street food and fresh seafood. You're going to want to check out things like this beautiful roasted lobster with cheese. Ooh, how amazing does that look? Can you imagine how it's going to taste? Man, if you get a full lobster like that, it's going to be 10 bucks. Yes, 10 US dollars. And you can even have half a lobster for just 5 bucks. What? For other things, you can expect to pay about 3 to 5 dollars per dish, like these kimbabs here, which are local specialties. You're probably going like, kimbabs, I can get those from the convenience stores anywhere. That's true, but the ones here have unique feelings, like black pork, and I'll get more into that later. Also, get yourself a nice cup of Jeju halabong juice to wash all that food down. Halabongs are these citrus fruits that are native to Jeju Island. They taste like mandarins, and a cup will cost between 3 to 5 dollars. Mmm, look at that freshly squeezed goodness. Let me tell you, it's going to taste great on a hot day or when you're wandering around a hot market. Here's a dish that's popular with locals in Jeju, the Galchi Jorim. It's a dish using hair tail fish. If you haven't seen a hair tail fish before, they're long, thin, and pretty strange looking if you ask me. But they taste delicious once they're cooked. Galchi Jorim is a spicy stew that includes stuff like radish, potatoes, scallions, and of course, the fish. The meat on the fish is so tender, I swear it just literally melts in your mouth because that's how fresh the fish is. Broth is a thick soupy kind with lots of amazing flavors and when you mix it into some rice, oh forget about it. Naegyori restaurant has very positive reviews and they charge $35 for small and $45 for large. Definitely go for large even if you're eating alone, just trust me on this. I totally love this dish. Would you try this out even though it is a little spicy? Let me know in the comments. Korea definitely has a love for instant ramen, but Jeju seafood ramen looks more like this. There's crab, octopus, clams, oysters, mussels, prawns. You're getting the literal bounty of the sea with a side of noodles here. The best restaurants will cook it to perfection, giving you the ultimate burst of flavor. And you can expect to pay up to $10 per bowl depending on the seafood that you want in it. People say that you need to have something sweet after eating something spicy. So now is the perfect time to get some delicious peanut ice cream. Located to the east of Jeju Island and just a 15 minute ferry ride away, Udo Island is the peanut haven of Korea. They love peanuts so much that they even have gold infused peanuts. Check this out. How do you think these golden peanuts are going to taste like? Would you eat them? Let me know in the comments. Once you're at Udo, you'll want to look for a cafe called Haha Ho Ho Udo. Totally serious name, right? Well, it is. Haha Ho Ho Udo is famous for their sweet and refreshing peanut ice cream, which they sell for $3. The typical toppings are fresh peanuts with peanut sprinkles, but you can always get this abomination instead. And while you're here, their burgers are apparently good as well. You can get a traditional burger, but you can also get a peanut burger or even a peanut hot dog instead. The burger and hot dog will cost about $7.50 each. If you're ordering that, please come back to this video and let me know what you think about the flavor. Noodles are one of the main foods of Korea, and you can get them in so many different ways. They can be served hot, cold, in a broth, without a broth, and the variety of toppings that you can get is endless. You can get your noodle fix in Jamae Guksu, where they are known for making many different delicious noodle dishes. Their broths are also known to be very fragrant and flavorful for just $5 a bowl. So get slurping. Where I'm from, noodles are huge. What's your favorite noodle dish? Let me know in the comments. Here's a food that's even more popular than noodles, believe it or not. Usually filled with rice and toppings that are native to the area, you'll find a special version of kimbap across Korea. In Jeju, you get kimbabs with egg, black pork, tofu, and so much more. The best place to try different kimbabs is in places like the Dongmun Market that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Prices will vary depending on the ingredients that are used. This is a dish using black pork that's boiled in a special sauce before being sliced and served on a cutting board. It is a total Jeju specialty. 
The meat is lean, very soft, so it's easy to chew and very fragrant because it's been boiled over many hours with different vegetables and other goodies. Best eaten as soon as it is served, so be ready with your cameras. As soon as the food hits the table, you quickly take a snap and then you start eating. A tray of this meat will cost about $18 and the best place to look for it is at the Black Pork Street in Jeju City. There are plenty of restaurants here selling delicious black pork that's cooked with their own secret recipes. So no matter which restaurant you go to, you're bound to get something delicious. Abalone is a must-have in Jeju because it is not only fresh, it is also cheap. Available almost everywhere in the island, you can choose to eat it in a variety of ways, such as with rice or porridge, grilled or even raw. This restaurant here is the most well-known not only to locals but also to tourists. They specialize in all cooking methods and prices range between $8.50 to $21. This is a Korean spicy seafood stew filled with an abundance of fresh seafood in a hot bowl. With things like octopus, mussels, abalone, scallops, clams and crab. Definitely a soul food of Korea. You can expect the broth to be very sweet because of all the seafood that's in it and you can eat to your heart's content. The tradition here is that they add noodles at the end when the pot is almost empty. Eating the noodles that's cooked with a thickened broth only adds to the deliciousness. For this stew, you want to add this restaurant to your list, where the prices start from $35 for 2 people to $60 for up to 5 people. You'll get this nice warm feeling in your belly when you're done, so it's best eaten when the weather outside is cold. Probably the most famous and must-try dish when in Jeju Island, the black pork is known as the pork version of Wagyu or Kobe beef, the highest rated beef in the world. Black pork tastes great either grilled or on a Korean barbecue, and it is so popular there's an entire street dedicated to this in Jeju Island. The meat has this smoky fragrance to it and it is also very tender. As for the taste, totally out of this world. Many restaurants do a good job, but one of the most well-known is this restaurant here. Prices start at $13 for 2 people, so make sure you come and pick out. Let me know which food you'd like to try out the most in the comments. And while you're doing that, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. Until next time, stay safe, Wanderers!